we go today. Super easy recipe. We're doing chicken nachos. You're going to put one can of your cream of chicken soup right there in your two quart crock pot. Get every little bit of that tasty yumminess out. Then we got a can of Rotel. We're going to dump it right in there. You can use any any uh, heat you want. They have the original and then they have the hot. And then I have a can of drained black beans. I'm gonna dump I'm gonna dump the whole can in there for our family. You can use a half a can or a whole can. And so mix that up a little bit there. We have some cheese shredded up here. You're gonna use, I would say a half cup, three fourths cup cheese. I'm making a full crock pot, two quart crock pot today because we are having a little bit of company over one other person and I wanna have enough to feed three of us. I have one pound of diced chicken thighs. Put that in there. Look how full my crock pot is. It is overflowing. That is awesome. But as soon as it starts cooking up, it won't be as thick as it is right now. And I'm gonna hold off salt and pepper in it. I'm gonna let everybody pepper it when they get it on their plate. There we go. Get that down in and get all them goodies in that crock pot and we're gonna let it cook on high for five hours and we'll be back so we've talked about it and we think you should hit the like button and subscribe look at that yummy 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 so yummy now i like mine a little bit juicy because i like my chips getting all gooey and then I have a little bit of extra cheese I'm going to put on top. Of that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beauty miss. Now I'm going to sprinkle some cilantro on there. This is some avocado. It's not guacamole. It's just avocado, which I think will be very good. And we got a dollop of cream sour cream and there we go my nacho chicken nachos <laughs>